The Underground Railroad is a historical fiction novel. It tells the story of a young woman's journey to freedom from slavery in the United States during the 19th century. The plot of the Underground Railroad follows Cora and Caesar as they escape the plantation and embark on a perilous journey through different states, each with its own portrayal of the Underground Railroad. The Underground Network is depicted as an actual railroad, complete with trains and stations, which adds an element of magical realism to the story. As Cora and Caesar encounter various individuals and face numerous challenges, the novel explores the different manifestations of slavery, racism, and discrimination they encounter along the way. Each state they pass through presents a unique and often harrowing experience, shedding light on the systemic violence and dehumanization of African Americans during that time. The Underground Railroad also delves into themes of memory, trauma, and the enduring legacy of slavery. It examines the complex relationships between freedom and safety, as well as the sacrifices and choices individuals must make in the pursuit of liberty. Dreams Before the Start of Time Set in a Near Future London Dreams takes place in three different time periods, jumping between different characters whom we sometimes follow across time, and sometimes meet for only a chapter before moving on. In 2034, we are introduced to two friends, Millie and Tony, who decide to become mothers. Millie is uninterested in sexual relationships, and hopes that her friend Aiden will be willing to parent a child with her. When Aiden decides that he isn't ready to be a father, she opts for an anonymous sperm donation. Tony is considering co-parenting as a business agreement when she finds herself pregnant from a recent fling. She convinces the father, Atticus, to enter into what is essentially a friends with babies arrangement. In 2084, Millie's wide and their son Rudy are considering adopting an orphaned fetus, a child left to gestate in an artificial womb, whose mother died in an accident. Tony and Atticus's son, Marco, meanwhile, has gone solo, creating a daughter, Amelie, from his DNA alone. In 2120, Gerard, the child Rudy and his wife opted not to adopt, is dismayed to discover that a one-night stand ten years ago produced a child, who has not benefited from the genetic screening and prenatal improvements that people of Gerard's class now take for granted. Rosewater is a science fiction novel. It is the first book in the Wormwood trilogy and combines elements of science fiction, mystery, and cosmic horror. The plot of Rosewater takes place in a near-future Nigeria, where an alien biodome known as Rosewater has appeared. The biodome has healing properties and grants people unusual abilities, but it also attracts various factions seeking to exploit its powers. Caro becomes entangled in a web of conspiracy as he investigates mysteries, confronts his own past, and learns about the true nature of the biodome. The narrative weaves between different time periods, revealing Caro's past experiences and the events leading up to the present. As Caro unravels the secrets of Rosewater, he must confront his own personal demons and make difficult choices that have far-reaching consequences. Rosewater explores themes of identity, power, and the impact of alien technology on society. It combines elements of science fiction, mystery, and a touch of cosmic horror to create a unique and thought-provoking story. The Old Drift is a novel written by Namwali Serpel. It is a multi-generational epic that spans several decades and explores the history, politics, and interconnected lives of individuals in Zambia. 1904. On the banks of the Zambezi River, a few miles from the majestic Victoria Falls, there is a colonial settlement called the Old Drift. In a smoky room at the hotel across the river, an old drifter named Percy M. Clark, foggy with fever, makes a mistake that entangles the fates of an Italian hotelier and an African busboy. This sets off a cycle of unwitting retribution between three Zambian families, black, white, brown, as they collide and converge over the course of the century, into the present and beyond. As the generations pass, their lives, their triumphs, errors, losses and hopes, emerge through a panorama of history, fairy tale, romance, and science fiction. The narrative weaves together the lives of the characters, showcasing their personal triumphs, challenges, and interconnectedness. The Animals in That Country is a novel written by Laura Jean McKay. It is a speculative fiction story set in Australia and explores the breakdown of human language and the boundaries between humans and animals during a pandemic. The plot of the animals in that country centers around the outbreak of a pandemic that leads to a mysterious phenomenon, humans start understanding and speaking the language of animals. As the pandemic progresses, the breakdown of language and the influx of animal voices create chaos and confusion in society. Jean, accompanied by Sue, Ray, and Terry, embarks on a journey to understand the implications of this new communication and to search for a place where animals and humans can coexist. The narrative explores themes of language, empathy, environmentalism, and the human-animal relationship. The animals in that country delves into the consequences of our actions on the natural world and challenges conventional ideas about communication, sentience, and our place in the ecosystem.
Deep Will Arcadia is a magical first, a science fiction verse novel written in the Orkney dialect. This unique adventure in minority language poetry comes with a parallel translation into playful and vivid English, so the reader will miss no nuance of the original. Deep Will Arcadia tells the story of the chance meeting in romance between two women. Astrid grew up on the space station Deep Will Arcadia, but left to study art on Mars. She has returned looking for inspiration. Darling is a trans woman who has escaped from the restrictive life expected of her from her rich fathers. The two of them meet on Deep Will Arcadia and enter into a passionate romance. All this happens against the backdrop of life on the station, which was set up to mine light around a gas giant, but as the light depletes and the attention of the rest of the galaxy shifts elsewhere, the way of life the inhabitants have set up for themselves and cherished over generations is under threat. Meanwhile the wreckages of vanished alien civilizations that bring teams of archaeologists to the station may not easily give up their secrets, but something strange is making itself felt across the station.